Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tori, if you're new here, and today I'm gonna to show you some shelf-stable items that I think all of you should be stocking up on. Today, I went on Amazon and found a ton of sales, so I'm gonna walk you through that and I will link everything for you. But I also went to my local Kroger and picked up a few canned items as well as some other things. So I wanna show you that as well. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Tori. We do preparedness on a budget. So if you like that kind of thing, definitely hit the subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and without further ado let's get right into my list some of you may be wondering if we had the baby yet we have not i don't know if i can let me see if i can get up here but yes we're getting there very close very exciting i am just kind of waiting letting her come at her own time and yeah i'm super excited to meet her my mom's on her way so it's just gonna be a really nice mother's day i have my flowers back there from the kids so we're just having a good time so happy mother's day to all of you out there i know this may be a hard day for some of you so i am keeping you in my heart and keeping you in my prayers i just i understand that it can be a tough day for some but for those of you that do celebrate happy mother's day from one mother to another let's all be prepared together so this is going to be the first amazon storefront that i am looking into when i'm doing some bulk food buying and that's frontier co-op they have non-gmo organic items and they have everything honestly and it varies so i like to look at their bulk products first to see if anything is on sale you will see it is pretty pricey but a lot of these things will last you for a long time if i'm not on azure standard i'm over here at frontier co-op they also have a storefront i believe they also have an actual brick and mortar so i mean it's up to you but they are here in the united states they have all the Himalayan salts that I like and bulk soup mixes, but a lot of these are just good ingredients. There's no extra dyes. Some of them do have some seed oil, so you have to check that out. Uh, it just really depends what kind of food you like to buy for your family. So a lot of the time I am looking into my bulk spices here and they just have such an incredible selection. So I'm going to link their storefront for you. I am not affiliated with them in any way. I just really genuinely enjoy them. I found out about Frontier Co-op through Sprouts. They sell all of their spices in every grocery store that I've been to at least. I think I've even found them at Walmart. But honestly, I have found online the sales to be of greater value. So it's up to you. Again, they have all of their organic herbs here as well. So whatever I'm not growing in the garden or whatever hasn't really yielded the best for the year, I am over here. Elderberries are important for my family's immune health. So I always check out their price there, but that's a really good price. And a lot of the time you will find these at a cut price. So Again, elderberries, you can make your own elderberry syrup. You could grow your own. You just have to be careful with elderberries because they can shift into a toxic level. But again, they just have so many different options. So Frontier Co-op, love you all. I will definitely link them in the description box below. Let me know if you've heard of this brand before. Now shifting over to August and Farms. I'm actually on their website here, but I wanted to show you that they're not currently shipping to California. That's just on their website. I don't know what would happen if you put in your address on Amazon. They have plenty of items on here and you'll notice it says from $14.99 so some of these are not in the number 10 cans you can get them in a smaller way if that's better for your budget but when it comes to freeze-dried foods I really enjoy August and Farms they're the first ones I found just because of Amazon and again some of you you know don't like to support Amazon so if you want to support them just in general here is their website but a lot of the time for my budget you can go on to Amazon and find these at an incredible price they do have their warehouse sale and their regular sale tab but there's nothing in there right now that i have seen i am just seeing the mylar bags so again here is their website but if you're new to freeze-dried or dehydrated foods definitely check into this if you don't have your own freeze dryer or your dehydrator or you could go to a thrift store and easily find a dehydrator that one is again pretty easy but i you know i get a lot of my items on Amazon in bulk. So if you are to crack into this can in an emergency situation, you could just go ahead and put this into some Mylar or you could plan 
accordingly. So if I am getting these items, I'm typically going for more of the veggie side. They have like black bean burgers and things like that, but I have quite a stock of freeze dried meats just because I worked with four Patriots. So I am fortunate, but of course you can buy freeze dried meats just about anywhere on here, but they have all different kinds of things. And you will see that simple mills is in here, nor has their veggie bouillon. I feel like everyone is in the freeze dried game. And to me, they taste better than those MREs that you can find at Walmart. I do want to say now that I'm entering Walmart, uh, they do have their 72 hour emergency kits and I believe it goes for around $35 and it should last your family three days I have one of those or two of those around but you will see a lot of these prices are cut that freeze-dried milk was cut 50% the only thing I don't really like about Augustine Farms is their orange delight their orange delight has a ton of dyes in there but if you don't care about yellow dyes and what it does for your health then you go ahead and get the orange delight I have just found that there are some other ways to hydrate yourself so they have spinach flakes broccoli I was showing you the brown sugar but honestly when we were talking about shelf stable brown sugar I like to keep sugar and molasses together all you have to do is mix those together and it becomes brown sugar and then over here you have your dry whole egg powder we have chickens and they produce a lot so we can figure out a way to make those shelf stable uh, I just use pickling lime but yeah this is what we're working with don't forget I will have everything linked for you now moving on to another stockpile and this is going to be sponsored by love every so thank you love every for sponsoring today's video I will leave all of their information down in the description box but essentially these are Montessori inspired boxes for children I am an ex Montessori teacher I resigned to stay home with my kids and homeschool them with a Montessori curriculum so this fit right in for us I love love every it's a wonderful company just amazing people to work with and all of these toys or activities are going to work with your child you don't need electricity for these so these are really awesome to have on hand in the event of an emergency I'm not talking about a bug out I'm not talking about an apocalyptic emergency I'm talking about losing power and not being able to be on those screens that the kids love if you are new here we are handheld screen free of course we watch the occasional movie but my kids will not know screens they will not know social media it's a hard hard thing to be on social media and uh, make that statement but it has become very clear to me that it is not good for kids it is toxic so if you're an adult and you're on social media cool but uh, if you are an impressionable child I just yeah I'm not a fan, but back to Love Every. These are incredible activities. So we got the Storyteller set this time, and I'm excited because they do have some newborn sets, so it will be nice to get the new baby one. But they come in this very easy box you can put these together and this box came with a little play kit so they can make little puppets and muppets my kids have an incredible imagination so it's really great to have these options for them so i suggest checking out love every definitely type in what your kid likes it doesn't have to go off of age in my opinion my children are four and two so it always depends on what they're doing what kind of activity they like but I'm just going to show you the rest of these here don't forget to use my links in the description box if you want to get your hands on one of these activity boxes Alrighty, I know I say this a lot, but this could be my most random haul that we picked up. We went to two stores just because there were two different sales. So we wanted to keep it under a certain price. So there's not a lot here. We stock up weekly if you're new here, but we ended up getting some propane. We cook in many different ways and we would if we lost power, but propane is just one of them. So we like to have it when it's on sale. So we grabbed that. The Amy's Organic Soups were buy one, get one free. 
So I grabbed a lentil veggie, chili black bean. You might be sick and tired of seeing those, but they honestly are my favorite cans of soups that we get. We have some garbanzo beans and they came down to 70 cents. So I just picked up those this week. Honestly, we are good to go on our bean storage down there. So I don't want to overdo it. And I was hoping to find some canned veggies, but I didn't see any. So I ended up just grabbing these. Garden season is upon us. So I'm not too worried about that. And we also got some corn husks. These were on sale for like 70 cents. I don't even know where the sticker is, but we like to make tamales with these and they're great shelf stable items. You can just put them in some mylar, suck out all the oxygen or whatever you want to store these. But we really like corn husks. Uh, it's essentially just a vessel. We don't really eat them or anything, but we like to have them to make our tamales. Of course, you can make tamales in a variety of ways in the event of an emergency, but these are great to have shelf stable. So, um, And there's other things you can do with corn husks too. So drop down your favorite way to use corn husks. That would be a fun one. And then random, but my husband picks these up all the time. We keep them in our cars. They're bleed stopper med packs. So they're, you know, it's not like police grade or anything. If you're new here, my husband's in law enforcement, but they're just nice to have in the car. So I have them in my car as well. And it's first aid to stop severe bleeding. And uh, we haven't had to use them yet. Uh, I mean, recreationally on my husband's job, he has used them before, but it comes with everything you need in here. So there's a uh, clotting dressing all of you people in the healthcare field might recognize some of these things um and then let me grab the actual pack itself oh my goodness okay so uh this is the emergency pressure bandage and then this doesn't really act as a standalone i will show you what's actually in the pack but it has the quick clot gauze emergency pressure bandage, six inch chest seal, and the gloves. So it's just a pack on its own. So this is going to be a tourniquet and that's really ideally what you would need with all of this. So I would suggest learning how to use this properly. I didn't know, I said that in a video uh, in the past and I thought I knew. So I really think they're important to have. It's just something quick and simple. Sometimes they can be expensive, so just wait for them to go on sale. But I will also link one of these in my Amazon store as well. But that is what we got. I'm excited. We didn't spend too much. I think... Um, you know, under $40. So that was good. We're usually stocking up, you know, five to $10 here and there. So this one was a little pricey for us, but we felt like it was important. Um, and you know, we're, we're going to be headed to the hospital here soon with the baby. So we like to have all hands on deck when it comes to first aid in the car as well. So yes, this is what we got. Happy. I got a chance to show it to you. Let me know what you're stocking up on this week. Stay tuned for the week. We will see if this baby comes again. If I go silent, you know where I'll be, but let me know what you're stocking up on. Let me know if you find any sales online. Of course, Amazon is my go-to because it's easy, but I know a lot of you don't like to support Amazon, which is cool too. So let me know what sales you are finding in your area. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye y'all.